These guys forgot to take Atabrine, an American Army conspicuous advertisement for a malaria drug during World War II. Malaria, or swamp fever, a disease spread by a special kind of mosquito in damp and warm climates, has been a loyal companion of warfare in the tropical jungle since ancient times. Malaria often caused more casualties than the enemy, wiping out entire garrisons on islands and expeditionary corps. Benito Mussolini, 20, arrested for evading military service in Italy, Switzerland, 1903. At the time, he was a socialist and liked to play the violin. He became a fascist a little later. The designer of automobiles and armored vehicles, Ferdinand Porsche, far left, shows Hitler a model of the first Volkswagen Beetle, Volkswagen Beetle, Germany, 1934. Franz Kafka published only a few short stories during his lifetime. Being seriously ill, he asked his friend Max Broad to burn all his works, including several unfinished novels after his death. Broad did not comply with this request, but on the contrary, ensured the publication of the works that brought Kafka worldwide fame. The last non-colorful Frenchmen are the main attraction of the Paris Zoo. This is the cartoon the German magazine Clatter Adach placed in 1932, predicting what France would be like in 100 years. The first issue of the famous Life magazine, published in 1936, featured a picture of a newborn baby named George Story, and the headline, Life Begins. The magazine then periodically published sketches of George's life, how he grew up, married, had children, and moved up the career ladder. In March 2000, the magazine announced its impending closure, and George Story died of heart failure in June of that year. The last issue of the magazine came out with the title, A Life Ends. In Western Europe in the 15th century, there was such an ideal woman. S-shaped silhouette, curved back, round pale face with high clear forehead. To match the ideal, women shaved their forehead hair and plucked their eyebrows, just like the Mona Lisa in Leonardo's famous painting, The Magic Mill, 1650, an old engraving depicting the dream of many husbands, a magic mill that grinds ugly and old wives into young and beautiful ones. The Pacific sign did not get its appearance by accident. It was designed by the British artist Gerald Holtam in 1958 for the nuclear disarmament movement. Holtam took the first letters of these words, N and D, and combined their semaphore designations. In the semaphore alphabet, the letter N is conveyed by flags stretched down into the sides and the letter D by one flag up and the other down. The first use of anesthetic in childbirth was in 1847. For this, thanks must go to the Scottish doctor James Young Simpson, who discovered the anesthetic effect of chloroform. One of the women in labor was so impressed with the painlessness of the process that she named her newborn baby girl Anesthesia. In 1941, during a concert of the Norwegian Philharmonic Orchestra, a group of Nazis burst into the hall. Their aim was to capture the violinist with Jewish roots, Ernst Glaser, and hand him over to the German occupation authorities. But conductor Harold Haida immediately ordered the musicians to play the Norwegian national anthem, which confused the attackers and allowed Glazer to flee backstage. James Robert Rinrose was on the list of the most wanted criminals in the United States. When FBI agents arrested him, he told them he had prepared for his arrest because he had been carrying the essentials for years and handed them a free prison release card from the game Monopoly. The legend of the medieval Swiss archer William Tell who was forced to shoot an apple at his own son's head for disobedience to the German governor, is widely known, and Tell did not miss. Inspired by this story, the American writer William Burroughs wanted to surprise his guests at one of his parties. He put a glass on his wife Joan Vollmer's head and fired a pistol. His wife died from a hit to the head. Salvador Dali often resorted to sleep with a key in his hand. Sitting in a chair, he would fall asleep with a heavy key clamped between his fingers. Gradually, his grip would loosen, the key would fall, and hit a plate on the floor. The thoughts that arose during his slumber might be new ideas or solutions to difficult problems.